Hello there guys, we are back again with another episode of Napoleon Total War. So as you know in my last video uh, we played Syrian Hills and basically my main aim of this series was to uh, play through every single single player like uh, custom battle map and slowly increase the hardness so I think that'll be uh, a really cool thing to do. Um, so first we're actually going to start with land battles and we're going to go for the second map. Oh, Syrian Hills. I mean, Syrian Ridge, not Syrian Hills, by the way. Um, so the second one is Sunken Jungle. And let's put the funds to large. AI Strength, we'll keep it a normal for the next two, probably three or four uh, games. Uh, just so we can get the hang of uh, normal. And then, right, time of day. I think we'll choose Evening. And I think what we're going to do is we, we should choose Heavy Rain. I think that would be pretty cool. So this map is Sunken Jungle. Let's do this. Um, which unit shall I have? I'll be Great Britain again. This time, um, I think we should be against Netherlands. Our when we when we like increase the difficulty, I'll go for France just to make it extra hard because they actually have some of the best units in the game along with uh, Great Britain. Let's take out some of these units. I don't know a quick way of getting all these off, so if you know a quick way of deleting all the units, just tell me. Um, Alright, let's choose about two of these, I think we chose two last time, and we will choose a couple of these, a couple of these, one of those, and we shall also choose some elite infantry, we'll get a couple of elite infantry, maybe three, black watch, and the rest shall be line infantry. This is one of my favourite setups if you want to know a good setup guys. In fact, I'm going to save this army. And I'm going to call it, um... Text TV Series. Okay. Um, so let's have a look what the enemy's got. Okay, you know, pretty standard stuff. Um, let's go. Okay, so, this map looks like it's pretty even, I don't think there's any advantages of being at either side, or disadvantages of being at either side, um, but I think the one main thing that this map tries to do is, is because there's like a little like lake thing in the middle, uh, you can't just push straight forward, you've got to either push left or right. Wow, this is really heavy rain. <laughs> they weren't lying. And it's all flooded, that's pretty cool. How they've, how they've actually done that in the game. Can you go under the water? No, I don't think you can. Just look at that detail, though. Anyway, uh, we shall continue with our tactic. Let's have a look what the enemy's got. Yeah, as I was saying, there's the lake. Um, right, so what we're going to do is... I think we no, should... Okay, so we're going to have a lot of misfires from the artillery, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and push up on this sort of section over here, because this is the high ground. Okay. Right, um, let's check what our units are like. I think we've got some artillery down here. Is that one unit? Yeah, that's one unit. Where's our second unit? Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to move this back here. Where's our second unit? Um... There it is. Um, we'll put this behind here. Okay, so I think uh, we've all of our we've got all of our horses together. That's the one thing I do try to do when we're playing these matches. I'm going to try and bring these round to the right flank again. That's one of my favourite tactics with the cavalry. Um, let's move these down here. Move them a bit closer. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, that'll do. Right, uh, let's start the battle. So first thing what we're going to do is, we're going to move our artillery up, as usual. And we're going to move the artillery up here, as we said. I'm not sure if this would be a good spot, but... In fact, I think we're going to move the artillery up after. I know I've probably wasted quite a lot of time by doing that, but 
we will go straight away and put these units up here. Alright, let's make them run. There we go. Hopefully they should beat the Netherlands the Netherlands to it. Um move our cavalry up. It's quite flooded around here, Jesus. The rain actually does affect quite a lot in this game. Okay, right. Move these down here, set those to run. Alright, everything looks fine so far. Let's see how these troops are getting on and getting over this hill. I think the Netherlands might beat us to it. I think we can have some sort of battle up there though to try and uh, take it back. I think we've got, what, four units going up there? That should be enough. Move the general back, we don't really want to get him confused with those units. As soon as the general's dead, the morale just goes boom, straight down. We'll slowly move our units up here. They can run. Uh, we've got some more line infantry. Okay, we've also got some cavalry there, so let's set these to attack. As you can see, we've got their left flank, which is. Actually, we've got it behind them now. Also, already their morale has gone down. Because we have the advantage on the charge and also unit size. So, I think we can leave those two taking out that cavalry. As long as we can get rid of the cavalry before they reach our line infantry, that's always a plus And can give you a big boost in this game. Cavalry is devastating against infantry. Okay, we are also getting shot at, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can just squeeze in this unit around here to charge. Boom. Okay, their morale should go pretty much all the way down. Let's just get a little overview of what's going on here. So, got some units up there. Okay, so it's pretty good overall. this down here. Right, we've got our artillery. These people are taking a while to move up. What I'm going to do is... Okay, what we've got here. You can attack you, and you two can... You're already setting a defensive line up here. Which I think should be fine. Okay, yeah, we can take the left flank. Which man are running? Where are all of our... Okay, it doesn't matter. Right, let's see if we can get the rest of our... Cavalry down here. And we'll go for one big charge. In fact, we'll leave us cavalry as a backup. I, I, I really like fighting with the... Uh, line infantry. Look at this volley. Oh, they dead. It's kind of hard to see with the heavy rain. Right, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to move up our artillery. We shall move the artillery. I think we're only going to put one unit up there. I don't know if there's enough room for two. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, make those run. These units need to set up a more defensive line. Alright, run! Okay, right, we've got some horse units there. I'm going to put these in square formation just in case, because I have no clue what they're doing. Yep, I think that's about right. Um, are we doing well down here? I don't know what these two are doing. Formation! Okay, yeah, these horses are getting absolutely wrecked. Um, I think what we can do now is we can continue with the plan of moving up the horses. So, let's see what we got here. We want to avoid some spikes. Okay. Right, I'm not sure how this is going to play. 
but we're going to start off by getting the first three on the right. Got some backup over here if we need it. Let's see how this goes on. Have a look at this almighty smash. Yep, they're already running. And their morale. Boom! Holy crap! They're pretty much already running. For the second smash. Bang! Oh! They've gained some, uh... They seem to have gained some intelligence. They've found out how to go into square formation. Okay, right. We'll quickly move these onto this unit here. Okay. Um, I f I'm not sure what's gonna. Okay, we don't want those grenadiers releasing their grenades on us. So let's quickly just check what's going on up here. Uh, so far, not good actually. Uh, I think we need to move this artillery into a better position and unlimber them. We can also move this into a much better position. Holy crap, we can move them up here. That's perfect. Why I didn't think of that before, I have no clue why. Unlimber, quickly. Okay, let's quickly just check back at how our units are doing. Alright, yep. That's how I planned. Okay. Let's continue the charge. We're losing quite a lot of horses here, we need to get them. I don't think we're going to be able to do a lot of damage on this charge. Come on, turn around so we can get a full smash. Okay, now. What you need to do is with the cavalry, you need to get like a full smash from either the back or front. If it's from the side, it really doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these up here because that square formation is completely wrecking us. Yeah, it's already made one unit wrong. So at least we actually managed to take out about three units there, which will definitely cripple them a lot. Holy crap, they're general! If we can get their general now, this will be... This, I think that they're elite units, I think. Yep, here they come to protect them. Right. In fact, let's switch these to canister. Watch how effective these canister shots are. Are you ready? They might not be because it's heavy weather, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's try it anyway. Boom! Holy crap! Look at that. I love the canister shells. They are like my favourite. I don't think we're actually doing really well here. I need to sort out what we're doing. Holy crap. sort ourselves out here. Right, I think what we need to do is we need to get a lot of backup. Okay, right, we need to cavalry in. Full on, let's go. Cavalry down here. Forget about these units up here. Move, come on, come on, come on, run. Which men are running, which men are running. This is bad. Let's see if we can get this artillery to get these guys. See what goes on here. Can we get some shots through? Yep, I think we can. Okay, we've actually got quite a few units up here and they're actually... The high ground tactic worked. And I think if I stuck to the high ground tactic and kept all my units up here, this would have been so much better. But, but let's, switch. let's switch to rounds. See how effective these round shots are. Okay, yeah, they're running. Um, let's move these up. Jesus, our units are holding off like so well. Did our cavalry manage to get away? Yes, they did. I think we can leave the howitzers and we can focus this cavalry on these units. 
As long as we can take this hill back, I think that's all that matters. Checking time here. Okay, let's go for one charge on the general, see if we get lucky here. If they don't run away, that is. See if we can get one lucky charge, that's all we need. Okay. Thought that'd happen. Alright. You need to stop firing because you're all you're gonna end up doing is killing our units. Alright, are these unlimbered? Yep, yeah, these are unlimbered. And I think what we can do is we can regroup all of these units. Set them up in a defensive position down here. That looks good. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to unlimber this. What these are doing, I will never know. Let's take out this artillery before it does anything else. In fact, what I think we should do is we should actually. It's going to be a bit sneaky, I know, I know we tried this last time, but we're going to move our artillery down here. And it is horse artillery, so look how fast this ship moves, that is crazy. Look at that. We're going to be slowed down just a little bit by the uh, water, but I don't think that's going to matter. Okay, yeah, we got that sorted. Uh, which men are fatigued? I thought I told these told these horse guards to get down here. Come on. Chop chop. Yeah, they're fatigued, I think that's why. I need a rest. Alright. This is a perfect spot. Absolutely perfect if we put these down here. Alright, unlimber quickly, quickly. Group unlimba! Alright, let's get some... See if we can get some sort of horse charge down here. In fact, no, what we're going to do is we're going to weaken them with this artillery. So what we're going to do is we're going to set some shots off. See how effective these shots are. Listen, watch this shot, this is going to be crazy. They're gonna fire. Yep, there we go. Boom! Holy crap! I think one of those shots didn't count, as it said. The the weather actually affects it quite a lot. Okay, we've got quite a lot of units down here. Let's move totally forward. And I think that will be enough. <coughs> Let's continue to weaken them. Let's get a more defensive position down here. Yes, sir. We have killed their general, sir. Yes, right, there we go, we've killed the general. That was some lucky shot right there, holy crap. The general's running. Okay, well, the general's not running because the general's dead. Um, this unit is pretty much gone. This is actually the artillery trying to kill me. Yep, Blackwatch is still alive. I thought those would last. I think the units which are still alive right now are the elite ones. Watch this. <laughs> okay, we've only got two units left now. Let's go full on. I think we can do this. Alright, you... Shoot you. Okay, here we go. Get some good shots off here. Fire. Okay, let's take some shots of these guys. In fact, let's move this artillery and we shall also use this to an advantage. Alright, run. Uh, this is going to be a really close battle. I didn't realize that um, the Netherlands are actually that good. 
Okay, yeah, they're all running. I think that's a victory. Come on. There we go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this game. And I think the next battle we're going to continue with normal difficulty. And for... I think... As we get like in between, like to the middle of uh, through all the maps, we're going to switch it to hard, and then for the last two maps, we're going to switch it to Glorious expert. Have a go, though. Okay, so yeah, see you later, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and also leave a comment if you're liking these sorts of videos. So yeah, see you later, guys.